Welcome back to customizing your Gmail. Now we're getting into the fun stuff. We're going to go to settings and labs. Now technically Gmail is still in beta. It's been around for several years, but everything that is in Gmail labs is experimental. It's where Gmail tests out their new features that they're thinking about including in the final program. Um, if you look here at the top, this is information that you're going to want to write down. I've never had a labs feature break, but I have this written down just in case. Uh, basically it says here, if one of your labs features breaks and you can't get into your account, go to this address and your labs will be disabled. And that way you can get in with no customization, it'll just be your basic email account. Uh, the first lab that I, and I use this lab every day, is offline. Um, this basically lets you use Gmail like you would use Outlook. Once you enable this function, you uh, have a desktop icon for Gmail. And what it does is it archives all your email in your Gmail account and on your desktop, and it syncs the two of them together. So it's great for laptops if you're mobile like I am. Um, when you are out and about, you can still get to your Gmail whether you have an internet connection or not and you can get fairly recent information as to what email is in your inbox. The next feature is tasks. Tasks adds a to-do list to Gmail and you can set it up so that it's um, on the right side of your Gmail account and it's basically just a to-do list function. Quick links lets you bookmark links beside your email. You can have any link that you want in your Gmail. Superstars, I use this one every day. Uh, what this does is it changes, Gmail comes with a plain yellow star that you can use to highlight information. Superstars lets you add all of these different icons. So if something's highly important, you can change the color of your stars, you can put check marks. Uh, and what you do is when you, you're looking at your email, you just click it multiple times. Each time you click it, the icon will change. You can enable or disable pictures in chat. That's useful if you are on a dial-up connection or you just don't want to see that much information at once, you can cut off those pictures. You can set up a fixed width font. Custom keyboard shortcuts. Uh, I personally don't use keyboard shortcuts, but my husband's a keyboard junkie. And he has this set up with customized shortcuts so that he can just click a couple buttons and his Gmail does exactly what he wants to do. Uh, mouse gestures is the same way. You can navigate, customize that. Um, signature tweaks removes the line between your quoted text and your signature so that you can have anything that you want in your signature but it doesn't look like a traditional email signature. So if you wanted to write a nice little note that said thanks for emailing me Bob but you didn't want it to look like it had been amended as a signature you wanted it to look like it was actually a personal touch to each email you can enable this feature and then there's no line showing that it's a signature. Uh, random signature adds random quotations to your outgoing email. Custom date lets you use a 24 hour clock. Muzzle uh, basically if you're working on a small screen, uh, like if your laptop has a small screen, it takes away some of the information from chat. Uh, Snaky is a game that you can set up to play. Email Addict uh, pops up a 15 minute timer uh, after you've been in email for 15 minutes. It blocks your screen, uh, gives you a 15 minute break, and puts you invisible in chat. Right side chat moves your chat box to the right side of your inbox. So if you don't want to scroll down your screen to see who's in chat, and because you've got chat labels and your functions all there on the left hand screen, if you want to move it to the right, you can. You can also move your labels to the right. Uh, if you're stressed out about the number of emails you get that you haven't read, you can hide the unread counts by enabling this. You can do advanced IMAP. Uh, if you that that's great if you're trying to read email from your Outlook program, you can get it set up so it works just the way you want it to. Canned responses. This is great if you send a lot of email. Uh, basically, what you can do is type up a canned response. I I have one that I use when I'm applying for freelance jobs and you have a drop down menu in your inbox and you can just choose that response and it puts it into the body of your email. So that's good for customer service, inquiries, frequently asked questions. You can just pick and it inserts the text right into your email. Uh, you can ha set it up as a default reply to all. Can <clears throat> quote your selected text if you want to do that. 
Navbar drag and drop lets you move things in your sidebar here. You can pick them up and move them if you have that enabled. Um, mail goggles is a fun one that is set up to uh, keep you from sending drunk email. You've heard of drunk dialing? Well, this prevents drunk email. Uh, basically, you have to solve three math problems before you can actually send your email on the weekends late at night. So if you've been drinking, you can't send email that makes you look stupid. Uh, forgotten attachment detector is one of my favorites ever. Uh, I regularly send email and then realize I forgot the attachment. If you enable this, Gmail sends you a pop-up screen anytime it finds the word attachment in your email and it prompts you to go ahead and attach that file if you've forgotten it. Uh, vacation time lets you specify starting and ending dates for your autoresponder. You can't do that in regular Gmail, but if you enable this lab, you can. Custom label colors lets you pick the colors that you want for the labels uh, so that you can sort things by color. Mark as red lets you mark email as red. Uh, you just can you can click a bunch of them and hit the mark as red button and they're all they all go to effect at once. Multiple inboxes uh, go to label lets you uh, just it, it just auto fills it. Multiple inboxes uh, lets you add more than one inbox to your home opening screen of Gmail. So, for example, if you have an email inbox and then you have a label for projects that you're working on that's called current projects, you can see both of them in your inbox but keep the email separate. Create a document lets you create a Google document from an email. So if you get an email with product specifications in it or details for a project, you can click create a document and it'll turn that into an editable Word document without copying and pasting. Text messaging, SMS, lets you send text messages from chat. Send an archive lets you send the email and get it out of your inbox at the same time. Location and signature uses your IP address to add your location to your signature. So if you are a globetrotter and you want your team to know where you physically are when you're sending emails so they know what time zone you're in, you can set that up so that every time you send an email it'll show where you were when you sent it. You can link your Google Calendar so that you've got a gadget in the sidebar with your Google Calendar, your Google Docs, and you can also add any other gadget by a URL. And gadgets, um, there's a whole list of them on the iGoogle homepage. So if you want a world clock or Skype or any of those Google gadgets, you can link to the URL and add that here at Labs. And that is your introduction to Google Labs and all the fun beta features that Gmail offers.